First division, the Feathers from always team just coming onto the field. Number one, Chris Bibb. Two is Paul Hughes. Three, Paul Newlove. Four is Ian Smales. Number five, Danny Beach. Number six is Alan Banks. Seven, Derek Fox. Eight, Jeff Grayson. Nine, Trevor Clark. Number ten is Glenn Bell. Eleven, Carl Addison. Twelve, John Bastian. Thirteen, Peter Smith. Substitutes are fourteen, Nigel Barker. And fifteen, Glenn Bull. Peter Fox having to make a change to the team originally picked. Number six, James Denman crying off, so Alan Back takes the standoff position and here come the cup finalists and Talons. Number one, David Tanner. Number two, Stan McCormick. Number three, Phil Beavers. Number four, Paul Laughlin. Number five, Les Quirk. Number six, Alan Hunt. Seven is Darren Blow. Eight, Tony Burke. Nine, Paul Groves. Ten is Dave Cosgrove. Eleven, Austin Donegan. Twelve is Roy Agatin. Number 13, Shane Cooper. And substitutes are 14, Neil Olin. And number 15, Chris Arkwright. And today's man in the middle, the referee there, just shaking hands with Shane Cooper there, Derek Fox there coming to come up is Mr. Steve Nag all the way from Osset. Only three weeks ago on this ground, St. Tellens beat Featherstone Rovers convincingly in the third round of the Challenge Cup by 32 points to three. Since that date, however, St. Tellens have pulled off an absolutely remarkable victory, beating Witness last week in the first of the semi finals. So St. Tellens there at the Wembley. And Alec Murphy getting a brilliant round of evasion here from the St. Helens crowd. Big wave to the crowd from Alec there. Great showman, Alec Murphy. Whether you love him or hate him, you can't take nothing away from the fella. Going to Wembley. His eighth time as coach, equaling the all-time record. So here we are, Derek Fox just getting ready to start this game. So it's Featherson Rovers, badly needing two points this afternoon to stop him in contention this first division relegation race well there we are Derek Fox that big kick down so it's St Helens first touch of the ball it's way inside their own 25 yard area but it's cut tackling that by Carl Addison that's the second tackle so it's Paul Groves from acting half back now that long ball out there number 11 there Austin Donegan taking the ball up just on his own 25 yard area that's that's the third tackle St Helens throwing this ball back there to Paul Laughlin, dummy in one way, dummy in the other, but that's a good tackle that by Peter Smith. Paul Laughlin getting ready to kick that ball downfield, so it's Phil Beavers, that big kick down. But Paul Yost taking it first bounce, 10 yards inside his own half of the field, running straight into Les Quirk. And number six there for St Helens there, Alan Huntop in the tackle also. So it's Paul Yost going straight from acting half back, but no way through this St Helens defence. Alan Hunt making the tackle, so it's Derek Fox now. Derek Fox there to John Bastian. But that's good tackling, number 10 there. Dave Cosgrove, round the boat laces. So it's Derek Fox now to Jeff Grace. Back to Derek Fox there to Jeff. Glenn Bell throw the gap. Glenn Bell on the run, run, taking David Tanner on. But that's a beautiful tackle by the St. Helen number one there, Dave Tanner. But that beautiful ball there from. So it's Alan Banks there. Alan Banks now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there now to Trevor Clark. Trevor Clark there to Jeff Creation. As I was just saying, that beautiful run around there from Jeff Grayson and Derek Fox putting Glenn Bell through the gap. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox, that little kick through, it's all on. So number two there. McCormick getting back for that ball. Good bit of pressure that by Featherson Rovers. Just looking, looks like a Featherson Rovers floor. I think it's John Bastian, is it Jeff Grayson? Just having treatment off the Rovers physio there, but... St. Helens well inside their own half of the field here, trying to get out to the field, trying to get out. This is Paul Laughlin. Well, that's good. Good play that by Paul Laughlin. Trevor Clark making the tackle. Lot of balls because Paul used already tackled less quick without the ball. But number 12 there, Roy Agatti there, fumbling that ball in his own 25 yard area. So it's that little kick over. Derek Fox after that bounce. But beautiful play that by Derek Fox there. That ball there to Danny Beach backing Derek Fox up. Derek Fox watching that kick all the way, so it's Featherstone Rovers on the halfway line now. Quick tap the ball, Derek Fox with the ball now, there to Chris Bibb, Chris Bibb, that long ball out there, to John Bastian, changing directions. But tackle by number 13, Shane Cooper. Well, the atmosphere really building up in this ground now at Paul Nosley Road. So it's Jeff Grayson going down the middle, Jeff Grayson, that's slipping that ball out there to Trevor Clark, it's all on, St. Helens man knocked it back. So them tackles should be wiped off. 
It's old Trevor Clark now, coming from the action park now to Derek Fox there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith, throw the gap. Peter Smith on a long run there to Chris Bibb. But Chris Bibb seemed to be tackled before he got the ball. Alan Oak making the tackle. The referee says play on. Chris Bibb fighting to get up to play the ball. That should be a penalty to Featherson Rovers there. Stephen Aig, the referee there. Darren Blair, number seven there, holding Chris Bibb down in the tackle. Would not allow Chris Bibb there to get up to play that ball, so it's a penalty to Featherson Rovers. So it'll be Derek Fox, here he goes, striking the ball. Where's it going? It's going where Featherson Rovers wanted to go, straight between the middle. Featherson Rovers, toast and Talons nil. So oh, there we go, it'll be Paul Laughlin to restart this game for St Helens. Derek Fox there putting Featherson Rovers 2 0 up. Has the ball gone? Yes, Peter Smith there taking that ball. But tackle there by number 12, Roy Agate. Good start by Featherson Rovers throwing this ball out. So it's John Bastian once again making strides, trying to get to the halfway line. But oh, that's good tackling by the St Helens forward. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. That long ball out there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith back there to Glenn Bell, making the ball available. Peter Smith there to number eight there, Jeff Grayson, throwing one man off. Jeff Grayson running into this defence, but Paul Groves there wrapping him up. That's good play by Jeff Grayson, making headway to that halfway line. Number 11 also in the tackle there, Austin Donegan. So it's Carl Allison there trying to get that ball there to Alan Hunt. Alan Hunt there, but Chris Bid there just half makes the tackle. Addison Rovers there losing that ball on the halfway line. Alan up there looked at certain tries good, but Chris Pip just grabbed his shirt. So St. Helens on the raw now, going down the middle. But then number 13 there, Peter Smith making the tackle. So it's Paul Groves now to act now back to Shane Cooper. Shane Cooper running it in well there to Paul Offlin. Paul Offlin there backing Shane Cooper up. But number 11 there, John, is it John Bastian or Carl Addison making the tackle? So it's Darren Blow now from acting now back, bringing his forwards onto the ball now. Roy Agatha switching directions. But St. Helens now at about 15 yards from that Featherson Rovers trust in Featherson Rovers two, St. Helens nil. So St. Helens, Shane Copen out to Darren Blow, throwing that ball out wise. Darren Blow still going, but it's all on Ian Smells picking that ball up. That's back play by St. Helens. Good pick up there by Ian Smells. Plays the ball back to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to John Bastian. John Bastian being tackled there by number eight, Tony Burke. So it's Derek Fox changing direction now to Peter Smith. Peter Smith dummy in one way, taking the ball in. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox that long ball out there to Trevor Clark. Trevor Clark there taking big number 10 on there, Dave Gosgrove. But Dave Gosgrove makes the tackle. So it's Derek Fox once again back inside there to Carl Addison. Carl Addison running downfield there, but that's good tackling by St. Helens. Still 15 yards from the halfway line, so it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox there, out of one, out of one tackle, just sidestep one, but beautiful kick, but the ball back just that bit too long. So that was the sixth and last tackle, it's the changeover. Looks like number 10, Glenn Bell got injured in that. Looks like he's pulled a muscle, Glenn Bell coming off. So number 15 there, replacing number 10 there, Glenn Bell. Glenn Bell coming on for Glenn Bell. So it's Tony Burt running it in, but Tony Burt there running it in half-heartedly. Easily being tackled that time. Carl Addison and Trevor Clark making the tackle. So it's Shane Copen now switching direction to Darren Blur. Darren Blur down the middle, but Derek Fox just tapped his ankle. Gets up, plays the ball. So Roy Agate there to the right hand side there, tweaking back back in play to Roy Agate. Roy Agate, that good ball out there. But Glenn. Glenn both there, just making the tackle, just keeping hold of one arm. So it's Paul Groves there, back inside there to number 13, Shane Cooper to Roy Agate. Roy Agate there, trying to get a one night pass up there, but Edison Rovers, two men there, tackling well, Carl Addison and Peter Smith. Still it's St. Helens, about 20 yards from that Featherson Rovers try line. It's still St. Helens nil, Featherson Rovers two. About seven minutes play on in this first half. So that's that little dummy. It's all on Paul Offlin there, taking Paul Newell on, but Paul Newell making the tackle. Looks like obstruction now, but referee says play on. 
Yes, it was obstruction where I am. Looked like obstruction did that. So the referee there allowing the changeover. But same as two or three week back, St. Helens looking very, very dangerous, backing each other up with the ball. Making themselves available with where it needs it. So Derek Fox, that long ball out there to Paul Love. Paul Love there, tackle there, Paul Loughlin involved with the tackling. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation there just couldn't get that ball up there. Glenn both running through the gap, but Jeff Creation there being tackled just short of his own 25 yard line. So it's Derek Fox now to Peter Smith. Peter Smith there to Ian Smell. Ian Smell's there running downfield. Getting that pass up there, but Danny Beach having to go back for it. So Feathers from Rovers still inside their own 25 yard area. So it's Derek Fox. That big kick downfield. So it's number one there, David Tanner coming across for this ball, just tapping it with his foot on his own 25-yard line, coming on this wing now. David Tanner there taking Paul Newell one, but Paul Newell making the tackle. St. Helens 10 yards from the halfway line, that's the first tackle. Less quick now, going from acting half-back. But Paul Newell of John Bastian, make sure he was tackled. So it's big number eight now, Tony Burke up to the halfway line. So it's Paul Gross going from acting half back now. This is good play by St. Helens, making progress. But Paul Newell once again hit the tackle. So it's Paul Gross now to Roy Haggerty there to, that, to Sean Cooper. This is good play by St. Helens, throwing this ball about. But referee there. Knock on there, so it'll be a scrum down. Just about 10 yards inside. Featherston over half of the field. It'll be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. The first scrum of the match. It's still Featherston Tellens nil, Featherston Rovers two. Oh, the ball's in, Darren Blow there, look, miles offside, yes, referee spotted him. Penalty kick to Featherston Rovers. So here we go, Derek Fox is kicked towards that touchline side. Graeme Stedman is in the line out this afternoon, Derek Fox having to set these, all these kicks for touch and kicks at goal. So it'll be Featherston Rovers, 10 yards inside, St. Helens half of the field, six tackles to go. So it's Denny Fox with the ball now, to, and that looked like a forward pass. Terrible mistake by Featherston Rovers on the first tackle. So that's the advantage gone, so it'll be Darren Blur to field this scrum this time. The ball's in, it's Hattis and Tellens, Allen up with the ball now, there to Tanner with the ball, linking up, Tanner there taking Chris Bibb on, but Chris Bibb there making the tackle. So it's number four now, Paul Laughlin running with the ball. Tackle just short of the halfway line, that's the second tackle, Peter Smith there involved with the tackle. So it's Roy Haggerty now, using this blind hand side, but number 11 there, Carl Harrison there, wrapping him up, so it's Paul Gross from acting half back now, getting this ball out wide to Shane Cooper now. This is good play by St. Helens. Getting this ball out wide, but Featherston Rovers there. Trevor Clark, Derek Fox making the tackle. So it's St. Helens there, going from acting half back. Trevor Clark there, brings him up from behind. Making the tackle on Shane Cooper. Plays the ball back, St. Helens there, using this blind outside. Tony Burton out to Roy Haggerty, Roy Haggerty there, but Peter Smith wrapping him up on that 25, Rovers 25 yard line. That's the changeover. So it's Paul Newell now going from acting half back. Paul Newell still going. But being tackled. Number 11 there just making the tackle. Lost in Donegan. So it's Glenn Bull there. Nearly throw the gap. Just couldn't get that pop that ball up there for Carl Harrison. So it's Derek Fox acting half back now. Derek Fox there to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation there running it in. Jeff Creation there to John Bastian. That's a good passing by, Je by Jeff Creation. Good backing up by John Bastian. Still 10 yards inside. Rovers half of the field. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith there, back there to Derek Fox there to Jeff Creation. Well, Jeff Creation there being tackled by number 12 there, Roy Haggerty. So it's Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox back inside now there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks looking for his centre, but just couldn't get that ball up there to Ian Smales. So it's Peter Smith there, back now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox kicking downfield. So it's David Tanner taking it there, first bounce, looking for Les Quirk outside him, to Les Quirk, Les Quirk there, taking Paul Yules on. But Paul Yules making the tackle, helped out there by Paul Newell of. 
gets up, plays the ball. It's Paul Laughlin there being tackled just about on his own 25 yard line. So it's Paul Groves from acting half back now. Paul Groves there missing a man out there to gives it there to number 10, Dave Cosgrove. Cosgrove there tackled 10 yards short of the halfway line. It's still St. Helens nil. Felder Featherson Rovers toe. Shane Cooper there to Paul Groves. Paul Groves doing the run around there, but Alan Banks there nearly intercepting that ball. Alan up there just hanging on. That was dangerous play by St. Helens. So it's Paul Groves. So it's St. Helens throwing this ball out wide. Roy Agatha there. Knew what he was going to do with the ball when he got it, but he had to catch it first, just taking his eye off that ball for that split second. That Paul Laughlin and number five there, let's quirk outside him. But Ragerty there, just taking his eye off that ball for that split second. St. Helens had an overlap on this left-hand side, so... Ragerty there, making a nash of that ball, so it's the scrum down, out, the ball's out there to... Addison Rovers there to Alan Banks, Alan Banks there to Chris Bibb, taking his opposite number on, Chris Bibb beating him, Chris Bibb going down the middle, Chris Bibb still going. Chris Bibb nearly throw the gap there, but number 13 there, Shane Cooper making the tackle, so it's Dirty Fox with the ball now there to Peter Smith, to Ian Smales, Ian Smales getting out of one tackle, Ian Smales still going, just couldn't get that ball out there to Danny Beach, good running that by Ian Smales, so it's Featherstone Rovers now, number 11, to Carl Allison there to Chris Bibb, Chris Bibb there to Jeff Grayson there to John Bastian, John Bastian there, but that's a good tackle there. So it's Featherstone Rovers, Carl Allison there to Trevor Clark, throw the gap. Featherson Rovers this, throwing this ball about like a barrow at so, but St. Helens still tackling strongly, so it's Derek Fox switching direction. Derek Fox, that long ball out now to John Bastian, changing direction. Just couldn't release that ball, looks like a drop goal in on the cast for Featherson Rovers. Derek Fox straight between the posts here. Derek Fox, here he goes, where's the ball going? And the ball's missed, so all that pressure there from Featherson Rovers, still St. Helens nil, Featherson Rovers two. So it's St. Helens turn now to bring the ball away, Phil Vavers, but that's good tackling there by Carl Addison, straight round the boat laces. So it's Les Quirt with the ball, but Les Quirt this time, straight into touch from that number eight pass from Tony Burke. Les Quirt scored in ten consecutive matches here for St. Helens. Created a record, Mal Meninga created about three or four seasons ago. So oh, there we are, the ball's in. Referee there penalising Derek Fox. Good decision by the crowd that time. Referee there, no alternative but to penalise Featherstone Rovers for that put in there. Referee listening to the crowd, but there we are. Paul Laughlin kicking that ball to touch. So it's number nine, Paul Groves there to Les Quirk, Les Quirk there, but number 11 there, Carl Addison wrapping him up. So there we go, number 10 there, Dave Cosgrove, running it in. So it's Paul Groves from acting out back now, this is a good play, but Peter Smith there wrapping him up. Still St. Helens nil, Featherstone Rovers two. About 15 minutes gone in this matchup. So it's St. Helens throwing this ball out left, throwing it out wide, no dummies taking that time. Trevor Clark there, in at the tackle. And Jeff Grayson there, over him to the play the ball. So St. Helens now to Roy Agatha, Roy Agatha, that little ball out there, but that's good tackling by Rovers. Carl Addison there, wrapping him up. So it's St. Helens now, throwing that ball out right at Alan Hunt there, to, long ball out there, but Danny Beach making the tackle there on, on his opposite number there, McCormick, and that's the change over, that's good tackling by Rovers. So it's Danny Beach now from acting out bad. Danny Beach doing one way, decided to take it in on his own. Tackle just short of his own 25-yard line, so it's Featherstone Rovers, that's the first tackle. So it's John Bastian running it in now, taking two or three feather St. Helens forwards to bring him down. So it's Derry Fox with the ball now. Derry Fox there to Carl Allison. Carl Allison nearly through the gap. So Trevor Clark now. Trevor Clark dummy one way, dummy the other to Peter Smith. Peter Smith back inside. It's all to Carl Allison there. Nice Featherstone Rovers coming down the middle. Glenn both with the ball. Well, that's good tackling by Shane Cooper right round the boat later. So Trevor Clark acting up back now to Derry Fox. Derry Fox, Alan Ball out there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb dances round one man. Chris Bibb on a run now. Chris Bibb inside. Chris Bibb there looking for Paul Hughes. That's good play by Chris Bibb. So it's Paul Hughes now there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox, that little kick over. It's all on Trevor Clark after that ball. David Tanner there taking it first bounce. 
That ball bounced, lucky there for David Tanner, but Alan Banks there, Peter Smith wrapping him up. That's good play by Featherston Rovers. That little bit there by Chris Bibb, that little kick over by Derek Fox. So it's St. Tellers now, men outside of this time, but pulling the ball inside there to Roy Haggerty. But that's good play, beautiful took that by number 13 there, Shane Cooper off Haggerty. That was good rugby league by St. Tellers. But Featherston Rovers still tackling well, now this game's hotting up. Number 11 there, Austin Donegan there, just five yards inside, Rovers out of the field. It's Paul Grove now from Acton Park getting this ball out wide to Shane Cooper, bringing his forwards onto the ball. But that's a good tackle that by Featherston Rovers there, Peter Smith there wrapping him up. And John Bastian just make sure they were tackled. So it's Phil Vivers now looking for that touch by side, that's a good kick that by Phil Vivers. So to be another scrum down just about on that Featherston Rovers 25 yard line, we did it Fox to feed the scrum, it's still St. Helens nil, Featherston Rovers 2. About 17 minutes of play gun in this first half. So the ball's in its active. Featherston Rovers there, but referee there catching Phil Weaver's offside from that scrum. So here we go, Ian Smales with his kick for touch, but marvellous kick that by Ian Smales. Gains about 40 yards with that touch kick. Now they see what Featherston Rovers can do with this move. Now it's Kyle Allison going down that middle. Kyle Allison, that's good running that by the Featherston Rovers number 11. I've got 15 yards run there by the second row forward. So that's the first tackle. Derek Fox now to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation going solo to Derek Fox. Derek Fox back inside. And that was absolutely a peach of a try from Featherston Rovers. John Bastian there just putting that ball under the sticks, but all he had to do was catch the ball and put it down. Jeff Creation there. Dummy in there first to Derek Fox, turn round, bamboozled the St. Helens defence there, dummied one way, went on his own, and Derek Fox backing him up there inside, took the ball off Jeff Creation, and Jeff Derek Fox there just looked round, and who was there? Big John Bastian to plant that ball between them poles, Featherson Rovers, six, St. Helens, nil. And looks, looks looking down, I mean, looks like right, Neil Old, here we are, Derek Fox, strikes the ball straight between the middle, Featherston Rovers eight, St. Helens nil. The big round of applause you can hear is because Chris Hartwright, the big local favourite here at St. Helens, coming onto the field. Alan Hunt going off the field. So it'll be Pornyolov. Pornyolov there switching direction. Pornyolov still going. That's a good little jinking run by Pornyolov. But... As I was just saying previously, that gut try there by John Bastian, but St. Alec Murphy making a tactical, ta tactical move. Bringing Rock. So it's Peter Smith going down the middle, bringing number 15 on there, Chris Harkwright, been out injured nearly all season, at 2-18 games prior to this. So it's Alan Banks there, to Ian Smells, Ian Smells coming to that ball, so Ian Smells down the middle, Ian Smells taking Tanner on, Ian Smells out to that ball, can he get to that ball, it's going to bounce nice for him, Ian Smells still going, oh, it's an obstruction try. He's got to be an obstruction try. Ian Smells the tackle without the ball over the line, he must be an obstruction try. Ian Smell's just going to die for that ball, and the St. Helens player there grabbed bother all the both arms. It must be an obstruction try, that. Just going to bounce on the ball. What's the referee give? He's oh. given the drop out on this. Well, that's a terrible decision, that. Absolutely diabolical decision. Ian Smell's were just ready to pounce onto that ball, and the, the St. Helens man grabbed Ian Smell's by the arms and pulled him back. Well, there again, the referee took his advice on the touch chuck, so it's still Phyllis and Rovers 8, St. Helens nil. So it's Paul Yost to Jeff Grayson there to Carl Allison. Carl Allison running it in strong. Ball down there by number 15, Chris Hartwright, but a fantastic run that by Ian Smales. But so it's number 8, Jeff Grayson, dummy in one way, dummy in the other, but this time being tackled just short of that St. Helens 25-yard line. So it's Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, that long ball out there to Peter Smith. 
Peter Smith there, back there, but it's all on. So it's Glenn both here picking that ball up. So it's John Bastian now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to Carl Addison. Just couldn't pop that ball up there, but that's cut tackling by St. Helens. St. Helens nil, Featherson Rovers eight. So it's Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson. Back there to Derek Fox. Crouch shouting out for the forward pass, but that went back with our, with our watching. Trevor Clark here picking that ball, kicking that ball up, but David Tanner beautifully took. Wilson Tellens supporter there shouting that Trevor Clark was offside, but there's no way can he be offside when he kicked the ball. Trevor Clark kicked that ball. So it's big number eight there, Tony Burke, but Peter Smith wrapping him up. This is good tackling by Featherstone Rovers, growing in confidence as every minute goes on, leading by eight points to nil. Trevor Clark there, right round the boat laces on number 11 there, Austin Donegan. So it's Roy Hagerty trying to run it in, but Roy Hagerty three, throw, throw one, that one to forward, pass a mile. And I loved it, I, that's what I like about this St. and Tellens crowd. They went to pull everything up what Featherstone Rovers do, but as you can see through the camera, that ball was, I got two yards forward and lots of books from the crowd, but referee right on the spot so the ball's in there it's out to Dirty Fox there to Alan Banks Alan Banks there taking his opposite number on there to number four there Ian Smales having a fine game in the centre Ian Smales running strongly that's good running once again by Ian Smales pushing Phil Beavers off there's not many players push Phil Beavers off in this game but Ian Smales has done it three times in this first half up to press so it's Peter Smith with the ball just couldn't get that ball out wide there to Dirty Fox so it's Trevor Clark from acting half back now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox working as usual, like a bee there. Getting that ball in there to Trevor Clark, but Trevor Clark there. No way through, having to fall to that number eight Tony Burt tackle. So it's that ball out wide there to Peter Smith back inside there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells going through again. Ian Smells there to John Bastian. Going in for his second try. Well, Ian Smells is just carving this St. Helens defence up this afternoon in the centre. Every time he gets the ball, big and strong there, just striding through. Weak tackling though, but John Bastian there getting his second try of the match. So that's Featherson Rovers 12, St. Helens nil. So here we go, St. Helens there having a conference behind the sticks, but the 12-0 down with Derek Fox. Can he put two more points on the wall? Featherstone Rovers, here he goes, where's it going? It's going right between the middle, St. Helens nil, Featherstone Rovers 14. Well, the crowd really trying to ride this, rise this St. Helens team, but take nothing away from Featherstone Rovers. They play football in this first, in this first half. So it's Paul Hughes there, just playing that ball, tittle to him, he'll run it in, will Paul Hughes. Tackle just about 10 yards from that 25-yard line, so it's John Bastian, two tries already to his name. Go ball there to Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark there, taking David Tanner, Trevor Clark with that line, Trevor Clark there, still going, Trevor Clark running away, that's good running by Trevor Clark. Couldn't expect more than Trevor Clark there, but once again, John Bassing in that short ball out there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there, long ball out there to Ismail, but Ismail's dropping that ball. And that's a knock on. But that was absolutely fantastic play there by Featherstone Rovers. John Bastian running that ball and slipping a peach of a pass there to Trevor Clark through the gap. Trevor Clark just rounding the fullback like a good winger should do but remember this that Trevor Clark's a number nine and Trevor Clark just not having the legs to go to the line but that was brilliant play and then Featherstone Rovers throwing that ball left but Ian Smells there just taking his eye off that ball knocking the ball on but still from that scrum St. Helens have got the ball and it's number 15 Chris Arkwright running it in but Chris Arkwright he can't be match fit has only had two 18 matches prior to this game all season So him, the St. Helens crowd now are getting onto the back, shouting, 
Rubbish and rubbish. I felt there's over Shane Cooper there, but Jeff Grayson there and Carl Allison there knocking him about, making fair tackles there, plays the ball to himself. But that'll be a waste to tackle if you don't get the ball out wide. Dryagerty in the centre now, Dryagerty there, trying to push Alan Banks out of the way, but they can run Alan Banks all day. Alan Banks will tackle you. That's good tackling by the over. Stand off half, gets up, plays the ball. So it's Tanner there, that's. So what's happened here? The, the ball struck the man, that should be the last tackle, that's the changeover. The ball wasn't charged down, so a quick pair of hands for the Smovers are out across that line. Derry Fox with the ball, Derry Fox switching direction. Back inside there to Trevor Clark there, to Jeff Grayson there, to Ian Smells. Ian Smells there, dummy in one way, coming back inside to Jeff Grayson. Come on, Jeff, they're all saying. But he's tackled on that 25 yard line. Take still, Sintella's nil, Feather Smovers 14. And Jeff Grayson there looked to have an heavy tackle there. Referee there, Stephen, Stephen A just over him. Referee there just stopping the clock. But who would have thought this here this afternoon, Featherstone Rovers coming here a fortnight ago, as I was saying pre previously, they got beat by 32 points to three in that cup match. But this looks sad for Featherstone Rovers if Jeff Grayson has to leave the field. He's And looking very, very dodgy. One alternative for the Snowers. John Bastian can play in the front row. It looks like if he gets up to play, the boys are getting up. Let's hope he's all right. And for the Snowers' sake. Good leader, Jeff Grayson, since he signed on beginning of the season on a free transfer. Has there been a, a better transfer in the all of the divisions? Oh, it's Peter Smith there going down the middle. Peter Smith back inside. Once again, Derek Fox making himself available, going down the middle. Derek Fox there, riding Chris Arkwright on his back. So it's Trevor Clark now there to John Bastian. John Bastian will run it in. He just couldn't slip that ball that time. Carl Allison there, backing him up, but that's a good tackling by St. Helens. So it's Carl Allison now, Carl Allison dummy one way, dummy the other. Carl Allison still going, but nobody there on his inside there for him to slip that ball to. So it's Glenn Both now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, is it going between the middle? It is this time for the Snowers, 50, St. Helens nil. So oh, that score just coming at about on the half hour. St. Helens nil, Featherston Rovers 15. Well, if anybody's listening back home to the to the radio, they'll be surprised by this score, but I can tell you it's, it's true. Featherston Rovers are leading by 15 points to nil. Trevor Clark there taking that ball there from the kickoff. Number 15 there, Chris Arkwright making the tackle. It's Glenn Booth with the ball now there to John Bastian. Score a Feathers Rovers first two tries, but I don't need to keep reminding you that. So it's Trevor Clark now from acting out back now. Once again, Derek Fox working like a beater. Chris Bibb, Chris Bibb there, Chris Bibb going down the middle, back inside there to Peter Smith. But well, Peter Smith there being held up in the tackle. So it's Chris Bibb now from acting out back there to Derek Fox to Carl Addison. Carl Addison back there to Derek Fox. That's good play by Carl Addison there to number six, Alan Banks. Alan Banks there to Ian Smales. Ian Smales, but this time Ian Smales being wrapped up. Quick play the ball from Ian Smells there to Alan Banks there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, that little chip over, it's all on. Derek Fox there, waits for that bounce to Derek Fox. Back inside there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith there to Trevor Clark. Well, that's good play once again. Derek Fox, Peter Smith, Trevor Clark, good backing up. And once again, he's here again, Derek Fox. You can't keep him quiet, can you, Derek Fox? This little scrum half of Featherston Rovers. He's in it, everything. With that ball is Derek Fox's. So it's Allison now, that's a good tackle by, oh, it's a bad mistake. Seemed to be a knock-on referee, said the ball went back. Well, if that ball went back, I've walked the wall of chain. It looked forward to me, but the referee right on the spot, he said it went back. So it's St. Helens, 10 yards from the halfway line. Trying to throw this ball out wide, but nobody seems to want the ball. Featherstone, well, what a tackle that by John Bastian. He seemed to stop the man dead in his tracks that time. 
and he didn't like it. He looked at him, and it's back inside. That's good. That's good play. And Paul Newell of the intercepting that Paul Groves pass. That's the difference today. Feathers from Rovers are hungry for this ball. St. Helens out, so it's Derry Fox with the ball now to Peter Smith to Alan Banks. Alan Banks here, room to work there. Back inside there. No, it's back inside to Danny Beach. Danny Beach just couldn't get that ball up there to Ian Smale, so it's Feathers from Rovers. About two yards inside this St. Helens half of the field, so it's number 15 now. Glenn Bell running it in. Gets up, plays the ball. Ian Smales with the ball now to Derry Fox. Derry Fox there to Peter Smith. Back to Derry Fox there to. to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson there to John Bastian. John Bastian here, room to work. John Bastian there to number three, Paul Newell. Paul Newell there to give him to Paul Hughes. And Paul Hughes going in the post. That's a good try again for Paul Hughes. Three matches, five tries for Paul Hughes. Two at told him. Two last week at home to okay. Adam one now against St. Helens and Paul Newell up there. Created that for him. And just look at this crowd rising to Featherston Rovers. Absolutely magic stuff here by Featherston Rovers this afternoon at Knowsley Road. Every man working for himself, backing each other up. And Paul Yule's getting a good round of applause there behind that them fast six there off the Featherston Rovers contingent here who's travelled all the way here to Knowsley Road. So it's Derek Fox. Can he do it again? Three goals, one drop goal up to press to his name. He's looking at the post. Here he goes. Where's he going? Well, have you seen that straight between the middle? St. Helens nil. Featherson Rovers 21. So here we go, St. Helens kicking off once again. Pornial have taken it with, without it mounting his own 25 yard line, running it out slow, running across field, but this time he's tackled 10 yards from his own 25 yard line. So it's Derek Fox now there to John Bastian. John Bastian going down the middle, but this time two St. Helens players round his boat laces that time. That's the second tackle. So it's Trevor Clark now, Trevor Clark, that ball out wide there to Carl Addison. Oh, that looked bad off the ball. That was absolutely diabolical. And the referee there were going to let play go on there. That was terrible tackle, that. I just can't see the St. Helens man. I think it's Austin Donegan. Hey. Featherson over's play being tackled off the ball without the ball there, went swinging round his neck. Number 15 there, Glenn Booth getting up. Right, Darren Blow there making that back tackle there. So here we go, Ian Smales kicking for touch. It's only a fortnight to the goal that Chris Burton, the Feathers from over second row forward, got sent off for a tackle like that. Darryl, Darren Blur stops on the field, not even a Simbin offence. No consistency in the referees in the league, so it's Derek Fox now with the ball there to Jeff Grayson. Back there to Derek Fox, throw the gap. Derek Fox there, Derek Fox taking Tanner on. Derek Fox there, tackle on that 25 yard line. It's from Talents nil, Feathers from Rovers 21, so it's Peter Smith acting up at now to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb throwing this ball out now, there, there to Carl Eisen there to Trevor Clark. Well, this time that's got tackling by St. Helens. Number 11 there, Austin Donegan making the tackle. So it's Chris Pitt from acting out now to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation taking this defence on. St. Helens nil, Feathers from Rovers 21. Derek Fox dropping back once again. And we're going to see another drop goal by Derek Fox there. No, it's John Bastian running it in. A bit nearer than Pulse. So it's Trevor Clark now from acting out back. Trevor Clark there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox. Just wide this time, the score remains St. Helens nil, Feathers from Rovers 21. And just listen to this St. Helens crown, booing them, jeering them, whistling them. But Feathers from Rovers there, keeping tabs on them. Number five there, Les Quirk, looking to score in consecutive matches, but the way St. Helens are playing and the way Feathers playing this afternoon is no chance. That's good tackling, Jeff Grayson and Glenn both. 
So it's Paul Groves there to Roy Agatha running it in. Roy Agatha pushing one man off, getting rid of the ball in the tackle there. But that's good tackling that by Featherstone Rovers. Once again, John Bastian involved in the tackle. Plays the ball back. So getting that ball out wide. Shane Cooper there. So Paul Laughlin there back inside it to Shane Cooper. It's all on. Getting that ball out wide to Arkwright. Back inside there to Roy Agatha. Two, two veterans working together there. But that's good tackling that by Paul Newell. Getting that ball out wide there to Phil Beavers. To Roy Agatha. To Cartwright. St. Ellis throwing this ball out now. That's good play, St. Tellers on the charge. Throwing that ball out wide, trying to get it back inside. But well, that's good tackling. Danny Beast there making the tackle. Now we've got St. Tellers. Can Feathers Rovers keep, keep a clean sheet in this half? Three minutes to half time. It's still St. Tellers nil. Feathers Rovers 21. St. Tellers getting this ball out wide. Shane Cooper, beautiful ball there to Raggedy Doe. He's made a mistake turning back inside there to Chris Arkwright. And St. Helens have, met, have, have messed that up. But once again, Phil Beaver's back inside. Phil Beaver's still going to Shane Cooper. Shane Cooper, that long ball out. Paul Laughlin there, running it out. Losing that ball. And that's the changeover. Quick pair of hands on that side. There's nobody over there. Derek Fox with the ball now. There. Back there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox going down the middle. What a brilliant game Derek Fox is having this first half. As I've been saying previously, where that ball is, Derek Fox is. So it's Carl Addison going down the middle. Tackle 15 yards short to that halfway line. Just about two minutes now to half time. It's still St. Helens nil, Featherson Rovers 21. So it's Peter Smith coming down the middle. Oh, it's Trevor Clark with the ball now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox to Glenn Booth. Is it Glenn Booth? John Bastian it is inside his own half of the field yes yeah, up plays the ball got a little knock in that tackle so it's Derek Fox now Derek Fox look at that touch line side Derek Fox there looking at that touch line side but falls into the tackle so it's Trevor Clark now back there to Ian Smales Ian Smales will host this ball up number it's all on so it's St. Helens now Last chance to score a tie in this first half. Raggedy now there to big number eight there, Tony Burke. But Peter Smith wraps him up. It's up to Featherson to keep a clean sheet now. They'll come out with more confidence in the second half. They'll stop St. Thomas from scoring. So it's Chris Hart right there taking Trevor Clark on. But that's good tackling there. Jeff Grayson there just making sure that Paul Offen didn't get that ball. So it's Paul Groves with the ball now. Doing the run, out, run around now to Daryl Blur to... Right out to there, back there, it's all on St. Helens there, going for them for the Snowers post, but that's good tackling by Rovers, and there goes the half-time score, St. Helens nil, Feathers Rovers 21, tries to Paul Hughes, and John Bastian two tries, Derek Fox four goals, and a drop goal to Derek Fox, half-time score from Nosley Road, and the St. Helens supporters are booing their team off the field, St. Helens nil, Feather Rovers 21. And down, four Feather Rovers supporters there, Lisa Bell, Cathy Beckett, Debbie Odlin and Alice Nill there travelled all the way over the Pennines to watch this match here at St. Helens. Come back to Knowsley Road at the half time talk. It's been all about this Featherstone Rovers football in that first half. Two tries to John Bastian, one to Paul Hughes. And four goals and a drop goal by the Derek Fox, the Featherstone Rovers captain, has set this crowd alight. The crowd been giving some talents the year. Peter Fox there, just play acting there to the crowd. Just pointing at Alec Murphy, coming across, he says, don't get on to me, get on to Alec Murphy. What a professionalism there by... Derek Fox there, so Paul Hughes there, just tapping that ball with his foot, running it in. So that's the first tackle, Feather Snowbers leading by 21 points to nil. We've just got this fate, that feeling that this game's far from one yet, so it's John Bastian there, that's the second tackle. So it's Carl Addison, had a fine first half, Carl Addison, that's the third tackle, Featherson still... Still camped in their own 25 yard line. So it's Peter Smith there running it out. But once again, St. Helens tackling well. 
Ball back there to Derry Fox, Derry Fox there to Chris Bibb, Chris Bibb, Chris Bibb going out of the middle, Chris Bibb on the long run, that's good play back by Chris Bibb. Sorry, it's Alan Banks now back there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox will give you that touchline side, kicking it over. There. Oh, what a fantastic kick by Derrick Fox. Number two there, McCormack were positioned absolutely brilliant on that touchline side. That ball there just floated over his head and one bounce straight into touch. Magic kick by Derrick Fox, that. So it'll be Darren Blow getting ready to feed this scrum. The ball's in, it's Hatterson Tellens. So that wide ball out there to Phil Vivas, Phil Vivas there looking for the extra man there, trying to go down his smell, Phil Vivas still going, Chris Bibb getting a beautiful tackle that by Chris Bibb, followed every man across the Feathers Rovers full back that time, beautiful tackle by the Rovers number one, so St Tellens there throwing it, but there's nobody out on this side for that ball, nobody at all to take that ball there. So it's Paul Groves now and nobody again, he's having to go solo, St. Helens man there, knocking the ball on, Ian Smells there, pinching the ball in the tackle, but... Number 11 there, Austin Donegan there, knocking that ball on. Just looking down, Neil Olin, limbering up on this touchline side. Derek Fox should put that ball in there, yes, Darren Blow going to put that ball in. The ball's out to Featherston Rovers, Derek Fox with the ball now there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there, taking his opposite number on, Alan Banks still going. He had a big smack there, but the St. Helens man smacked the ball with his hand. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox there to Peter Smith there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells throwing the gap. Ian Smells going downfield. Ian Smells still going. Beautiful play by Ian Smells. Ian Smells. Ian Smells going all the way. Ian Smells back inside there. What a fantastic run that by Ian Smells. But Chris Bibb there just couldn't get him. Momentum going. Ian Smells ducking one way, ducking the other. Just calming things down that little bit. Sorry, it's Alan Banks with the ball now there, long ball out there to number 11 there, Carl Addison, Carl Addison going for that try line, just couldn't get that ball out there. So it's Glenn both now, Glenn both there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox that long ball out there, Paul Newell up there, five yards short of that St. Helens try line. So it's Paul Newell's here running it in, it's all on. So it's Glenn both there, referee wiping them tackle, no it's the sixth tackle. Referee saying none of that. So it's St. Helens, but Fellas Rovers could have so easily had another try on the board. Brilliant break there by Ian Smales, but that brilliant quick ball there though by Derek Fox put him through the gap. So St. Helens now, but Alan Banks there making the tackle on number eight there, Tony Burke. Number 11 there, Carl Addison, just make sure he will tackle. Paul Groves going through acting half back there, but Alan Banks there and Carl Addison wrapping him up. Neil Olin stick, just still limbering up on this touchline side, so getting that ball out right. Chris Arkwright right there trying to get the ball out. Oh, that's beautiful tackle, that. And what's happening? It's all referee there saying all along. So Chris Pip playing advantage. Chris Pip going down the middle. Chris Pip going down the middle up to the halfway line. Fighting to get up to play the ball, plays the ball there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, that one ball out there to Jeff Grayson, turning back inside, pushing Paul Groves out of the way. That's the second tackle. Well, this game started off at 100 mile an hour stuff in this half, but it's still St. Helens nil. Feather Snowballs 21. Derek Fox there, that short ball there to John Bastian. Just about that on the halfway line. That's the third tackle. Trevor Clark acting half back to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith here just can't get that pass up there. Trevor Clark waiting for that ball. So Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox swapping direction. It's all on. Where's the ball going? Paul Grove picking that up. Paul Grove going for that try line. Paul Grove still going. Oh, it looks a mile forward. It looked a mile forward, did that ball. But the first mistake by Featherston Rovers allowing that ball there to be Paul Groves snapped onto that ball and there Paul Groves making the creating that gap there and throw that ball out there overhead but to me the ball seemed a mile forward and Austin Donegan there just planting the ball at the side of the post the referee were miles behind play just couldn't keep up with play just couldn't see what was happening 
So Austin Donegan there putting St. Helens first points on the ball this afternoon. It's St. Helens four, Featherstone Rovers 21. So here we go, it'll be Paul Laughlin. See if he can't convert that goal there. Austin, here he goes, strikes it well. Straight between the middle, St. Helens six, Feathers Rovers 21. And number 10 here coming off for St. Helens, Dave Cosgrove and Neil Olding, number 14, coming onto the pitch. And we all know how dangerous Neil Olding can be. He's got pace as this lad. He'll get that ball out wide. St. Helens are most dangerous when they get the ball out to the three quarters. So there we are. Now we've got a match on his hands. Featherston Rovers leading by 21 points to nil at half time. The touch to John. strong words there with Carl Harrison for that tackle so penalty kick to St Helens I was just saying Feather Snowman leading at half time by 21 points to nil but St Helens that quick try there first mistake by Feather Snowman throwing that wild ball out now we the St Helens draw coming up and it's up to Feather Snowman to keep tackling like they did in the first half to keep this score down I'm sure another try for St Helens now at this junction in the game will swing things St Helens way so it's Paul Groves there trying to bring the number eight Tony Burke onto the ball. But Featherston Rovers will play down the middle all day. It's up to them to get it out wide. And that's back tackling. Derek Fox there just getting his ankle there. So it's Paul Groves there getting this ball out right to Chris Arkwright. Back inside there to Phil Beavers. Phil Beavers still going. But number 15 there, Glenn Bull just pulling him down. Now the St. Helens all goes up. So it's David Tanner with the ball now, running it in. But that's good tackling by Carl Addison. St. Helens 6, Feathers Rovers 21. So it's Darren Blow from... Oh, beautiful, and took that by Derry Fox. Derry Fox, that long ball out there to Airspell. Airspell's in, we're not winning. Airspell's still going. Airspell's going all the way. Airspell's just going to go all the way here. Oh, catch me if you can. Nobody can catch him. Oh, get into the corner, lad. Beautiful try by Airspell's. Derek Fox there seemed to snap that ball out of thin air when Darren Blow kicked the ball through. And Ian Smells there just shrugged. I think it was Phil Beavers off there and set off on it for the line. 80 yards away. And David Tanner there couldn't make no impression on him. And Ian Smells there just cantered over in the corner. As I've been saying, catch me if you can, lad. And look at them plays down there. Didn't they enjoy that? And these St. Helens supporters are clapping that try. Absolutely. Absolutely thrilling stuff there by the Feather Snowbus. But once again, quick thinking by that number seven here, trying to confer that try. And Derek Fox, here he goes, just looking at the ball, looking at the post. Here he goes. He's striking it. Where's it going? Oh, he's just at the side. So it's St. Helen six, Feather Snowbus 25. So as I was just saying, quick thinking there, Darren Blood, all that pressure on that Feather Snowbus try line, that little kick throw, and Derek Fox seemed to pinch that ball out of thin air, made the initial break, and throw that long ball out there, and Ian Smells there, pushing Phil Beavers off there, had a clear running, but he had to run 80 yards. And he made it all the way, now St. Helens getting that ball of Feather Snowbus in the first tackle, and then the St. Helens, oh, Roy Agassi going for that try line, Roy Agassi still going! But Glenn both there, two of Trevor Clark down in the boat laces. But a normal Carl Allison there pushing him to the ground. Gets up, plays the ball. Darren Blow now there to Mike. Neil holding back inside there. But that's got tackling there. Trevor Clark straight round the boat laces. Gets up, plays the ball. Chris Arkwright with the ball now, switching direction, getting this ball out wide. But that's got tackling by Rovers. Number 12 there, big John Bastian and Peter Smith in at the tackle. And St. Thomas have only got to get this ball out wide. Darren Blow there to Chris Arkwright. Long ball out there. Oh, Roy Agatey. Terrible mistake by Roy Agatey once again. Losing that ball. 
But Alan Banks diving on its hole. It should be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. Riotty first man to... No, it's referees give it to St. Helens to put in, has he? It should be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. Riotty the first defender, knocking the ball on. But referee saying that Alan Banks knocked it on when Featherstone got advantage. So it's Darren Blow, and that's one again the head. Derek Fox winning that scrum. Oh, and Darren Blow there. And the touch judge has seen that. Absolutely terrible tackle by Darren Blow. This is his second time at our tackling the match. What's the referee going to do now? Darren Blow there was lucky once again not to get Simbin. Like I've been saying, consistency between the referees is absolutely diabolical. That arm coming straight round there nearly knocked Derek Fox's head off his shoulders. So it's Carl Eisen now driving that ball in. Being tackled there, Paul Groves and Tony Burke making the tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Jeff Grayson back there to Derek Fox. That ball out wide there to Glenn Bull throw the gap. Glenn Bull there taking Tanner on. Glenn Bull taking him on. That's good play once again. Jeff Grayson and Derek Fox. Glenn Bull struggling to get up to play the ball. So it's Trevor Clark now from acting our pack. Trevor Clark on dummy. Trevor Clark going all the way. That's good running. Good tackle that by David Tanner. Now it's Peter Smith to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to Kyle Allison. Back there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox switching direction there to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb gets that ball up there to Alabanks, Alabanks goes to try! Brilliant play that by once again, Derek Fox, Trevor Clark, Chris Bibb. And oh, was charging up there like a raging bull, Alan Banks to plant that ball over that whitewash. St. Helens 6, Feathers and Rovers 29, and all these points difference will go towards him um, at the end of the season. They want as many points as they can get, but who would have thought that Feathers and Rovers would have got 30 points today at St. Helens? Well, there's only one man who have thought that, and he lives in the moon. He's 25,000 miles away, so it's Derek Fox now getting ready to kick this ball over them. Crossbars, here he goes. Straight between the middle after the post, in off the white, Derek, but he's the all counts. St. Helens 6, Fredderson Rovers 31. Well, this crowd now has gone deathly silent. Paul Laughlin once again kicking the ball off. Paul Hughes picking that ball up on his own try line. He's running it in. He's going like a centre there, running it in, but got tackled that by. I just can't see who it is. I think it's. Aust Austin Donegan there making the tackle, but it's Featherson Rovers, John Bastian, that's good running by big John Bastian there. Scorer of two tries already, he'll be after three tries this afternoon. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there, Derek Fox there, but St. Helens players there. Crowding round Jeff Grayson that time. Number 13 there, Shane Cooper. And Tony Burt making the tackle. So once again, it's Derek Fox getting that ball out wide there to Chris. Ooh, Chris Bibb just couldn't get that ball out wide there to Alan Banks. Once again, that's good tackling. Ryagate there, pulling Chris Bibb down. So it's Trevor Clark going from acting half Mac. Got Chris Ark right there making the tackle. Referee right over the play there that time. Amy Strong was there with Roy Agate, so it's Chris Bibb there back to Derek Fox. Derek Fox looking for that touch line side, big kick downfield, but less work underneath it. Less work takes it without bouncing, running it in. We're trying to get to the halfway line, let's quit, going nowhere, but Peter Smith wrapping him up. And number 11 there, Carl Addison, two forwards there, Carl Addison, Peter Smith wrapping, let's quirk up. Now it's number two there, McCormick, but he's going nowhere, it's still St. Helens 6, Featherston Rovers 31. And like I said, all these points will make the difference at the end of the season. Featherston Rovers just lacking on points difference with Bradford Northern, Warrington and Salford, but I'm sure this match will pull them... Pulling further up, close to him, so it's Neil only throw the gap. Neil only taking Chris Bibb on back inside there, Neil only to Phil Beavers. Well, that Derry Fox makes the tackle, back to Neil only, but Chris Bibb makes Neil, the tackle on Neil Olin yet again. Brilliant break there by Neil Olin, gets up, plays the ball. So it's Chris Arkwright getting that ball out there to Paul Gross, Paul Gross, oh, what a tackle. And who's got the ball, Alan Banks, well, what a tackle that. So it's Peter Smith, Peter Smith there to Ian Smells, Ian Smells pushing one man off yet again. He's offside! 
He's offside! Well, I'm sorry if I've lost my head over that, but... Here's Mills trying to get that ball out there to his wingman. The St. Helens man knocked the ball down, and then the St. Helens man picked the ball up in an absolutely five-yard position where what offside the referee says play on. Absolutely diabolical decision there once again by the referee. And number 13 there, Shane Cooper, just stroke to the line there, unopposed, but every man in this stadium knew that Shane Cooper there were offside, apart from one man, that one man in the middle, the referee. So we go, Paul Laughlin there. Strikes that ball, but fat just at the third of the post. St. Helens 10, Feathers from Rovers 31. Oh, there we are, what an evasion, this Jeff Grayson's going off here to St. Helens. Nigel Barker coming onto the field, so Paul Yosel going to the pack. Nigel Barker taking his place on the wing, so I'm sure that Carl Addison and... John Bastian will move up both into the front row, so Featherstone Rovers playing without the toe props this afternoon, but like I said before, Featherstone Rovers... Heavy on forwards this afternoon, so I'm sure that they'll make amends there in that pack. So it's Tony Burt there trying to strike through tackles here, but Peter Smith, all that right, trying to strike through him, he'll bring everybody down. So Roy Agassi there, that big leap there, Roy Agassi is still going. There we go, Paul Yo's there bringing him down into the thick of things straight away, Paul Yo. So St. Tellens trying to, oh, it's a bad, terrible mistake. And Shane Cooper didn't like that, but he's just had a gift of a try two seconds ago. Yeah. So Derek Fox feeding the scrum there, it's Arton. Peter Smith with the ball, Peter Smith taking the defence on. St. Helens 10, Featherston Rovers 31. So it's number 11 there, Carl Harrison striding for them posts. But tackle just short. That's the second tackle. Neil Olin there laying on at the tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox switching direction. Derek Fox there trying to run through the St. Tellens man. And that's the third tackle. Derek Fox there just getting up to play the ball. So it's Trevor Clark now there. Back to Peter Smith there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there. Alan Banks to Ian Smells. Ooh, Ian Smells just going to get that ball up. But that good delay pass there from Alan Banks. To number five, Danny Beach now to number 15 there. Glenn Bolt running for that try line. Tackle two yards short. This must be the sixth and last tackle. So Derek Fox looking behind now. Derek Fox with the ball. Derek Fox that long ball out there. It's all on. But St. Helens getting that loose ball. So we're in the last quarter. Quarter now here at St. Helens. 20 minutes gone in the second half. It's still St. Helens 10, Featherston Rovers 31. And St. Helens, nobody seems to want the ball. Michael Nolan there, picking that loose ball up, making Michael Nolan there. That's what pace does for you. Back inside there to McCormick. McCormick running strong. McCormick still going, but that's good tackling that by Danny Beach there, followed his wingman. Good tackling that by Danny Beach. Now it's Chris Arkwright to Roy Agatti. Roy Agatti there to Paul Laughlin. Paul Laughlin, but number three there, Paul Newell bouncing him down on the floor. So it's St. Helens now trying to, oh, and that's a shocking, shocking take that from Carl Harrison there, dives on that ball, a quick play of the ball here, Trevor Clark acting out back, Peter Smith there waiting for that ball, Peter Smith running it in, Peter Smith taking the defence on, just couldn't bob that ball up there. So it's Trevor Clark now acting out back, Trevor Clark now there to Derry Fox, Derry Fox there to, to Paul Hughes. Everybody shouting knock on, but Trevor Clark never... Went to pick that ball up, he just waited for him, rolling to him. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Long ball out there to Peter Smith, beautiful ball from Derek Fox. Peter Smith taking him on, back inside there to Danny Beach. That's good play by Danny Beach, coming back inside. So Trevor Clark now attacked in half back now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there, long ball out there now to Alan Banks. Alan Banks, that long ball out there. 
Oh, he's bending down for that ball, Poyos. Poyos tackle there, Rovers losing. At 15 yards with that one moment, that's the fifth tackle, this is the last tackle. So it's Pornial with the ball now there to Derrick Fox, Derrick Fox, that little chip over. They just couldn't clear, number 11 there, Austin Donegan with that ball, so it's St. Helens. Now in possession now. That's the second tackle. Once again, Derrick Fox in over on that tackle, so St. Helens now, Tony Burke, try oh, Tony Burke's lost the ball. And Derry Fox there knocking that ball on, it's all on. So it's Pony Olive with the ball, Pony Olive in it in. And referee took his judge's advice. Well, what a farce this referee is this afternoon. Mr. Stephen Egg of Osset. I don't like to criticise any referees or any players this afternoon, but the referee, St. Helens, has scored two tries, one from a, a forward pass, was at least five yards forward, and, and the other one... Oh, and Alan Bax getting that ball there! Alan Bax there to Ian Smales, Ian Smales now to Danny Beach! Danny Beach there, but referee's seen that, anti. he? He's seen that forward pass. As I was saying previously, before St. Helens got that ball out of the pattern there. And Alan Banks pounced onto that ball, that quick ball out there to Ian Smells. And Ian Smells, that quick pair of hands there to Danny Beach. But Danny Beach, that thought it was a mile four, but the referee was in line to spot that. Neil holding now with the ball now, trying to get Phil Beaver onto a run. But Ian Smells there, two tackles on the trot. That's good tackling by Ian Smells. So it's Paul Groves now there to Chris Arkwright, trying to go down the middle. Paul Hughes making the tackle. So it's Roy Agassi now, Roy Agassi trying to make strides. Roy, good run by Roy Agassi, through the middle, back inside there to Darren Blair, but that's good tackling back by Jerry Fox and Alan Paul Hughes. So it's Paul Groves again, getting this ball out wide now. That's good tackling though by Rovers, back inside, he's offside. Referee seen that one this time. And the other offside when, he, when Shane Cooper scored that try was more blatant than that one, but the referee spotted that one. St. Helens 10, Featherson Rovers 31. So Carl Allison still running it in strong. It's going to finish the match as it started at Carl Allison, still running that ball in strong, so it's Derek Fox with the ball now, back inside there to John Bastian. Tackle there by Chris Hartwright, so it's number 11, Carl Allison, yet again, Carl Allison there. Derek Fox backing him up, just couldn't pop that ball up, so it's Trevor Clark now from acting half back. Trevor Clark now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Peter Smith, Peter Smith there, back inside there to Glen Booth. Ooh, Glen Booth just didn't get that ball up there for Paul Hughes. So it's Paul Hughes now acting out back. Paul Hughes now there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox there now there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith back inside there to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb gets that ball up there to Trevor Clark to Derrick Fox. There's number 12, John Bastian. Dummy in one way, dummy in the other. So just about 15 minutes left for playing this match now. It's still St. Helens 10, Featherson Rovers. Derrick Fox there hoping to hit the post with the ball, but. So it's St. Helens tap out on the own 25 yard line. St. Helens 10, Featherson Rovers 31. So it's McCormick now trying to bring play up to the halfway line, but Paul Hughes in his way. So it's Tony Burke, but Tony Burke going no way. Carl Harrison making the tackle. Big Dragonty again. Once again, he's trying all for all he's worth, but being tackled, Glenn both making the tackle. So plays the ball, Phil Vivas from acting out back now to Paul Groves out there to Chris Arkwright, to Shane Cooper back there to Chris Arkwright and Chris Arkwright losing that ball, Carl Addison getting that ball, good play that by the Rovers, number 11. St. Helens making a right mess of that. So it's Paul Hughes there, there to Peter Smith taking him on, Peter Smith down the middle, taking three St. Helens plays to make the tackle, I'm sure, a try now at this stage will just kill St. Helens off completely. Trevor Clark from acting out back, Trevor Clark pushing one man off. That's good running that by Trevor Clark from acting half back. So it's 
So it's Derek Fox, Derek Fox today to Carl Allison. Ooh, Carl Allison inches short of that dry line. St. Helens 10, Feathers and Rovers 31. So it's Derek Fox. Derek Fox there trying to sneak his way over that dry line, but that must be the fifth and last tackle. Derek Fox there, slow to get to his feet, must have took a bad knock, so it's Peter Smith. Are we going to see some of So that must be back to Warns. Oh, that's the charge down. That was the charge down. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith back inside there to Glen Booth. So that's the second tackle. Feathers Rovers, four more tackles to go. So it's Trevor Clark going from acting half back. Trevor Clark there, 10 yards short of that St. Helens try line. Yet again, Shane Cooper making the tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox, that long ball out there to Alan Banks. Well, that's good tackling that Roy Haggerty there. Derek Fox now. Derek Fox from acting half back. Derek Fox back inside there to Ian Smales. But Ian Smales going without the ball. So St. Helens get possession. St. Helens 10, Feathers and Rovers 31. Oh, and that's terrible play by St. Helens yet again. And just about 12 minutes to go in this match, Derek Fox gets that ball from the scum there. To Ian Smells, Ian Smells there! Oh, last ditch tackle. Phil Beavers there, just grabbing him by the legs. Beautiful play that by Phil Vivers this topping a certain try, so it's Glenn both running that ball in. So it's Trevor Clark now from acting up out there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox that long ball out there to Alan Banks back inside there to Peter Smith. But Peter Smith held up in the tackle, losing the ball, plays the ball back, but referee says no. Scrum down. <laughs> So the scrum is formed halfway between the St. Helens 25-yard line, the St. Helens try line, be daddle blow to feed the scrum. The ball's in. Referee forming the scrum again. All the 12 Pac-Men there down on the floor, so... 10 minutes left for playing this match now, it's still St. Helens 10, Feathers Rovers 31. The half-time B scored 21-0 to Featherston Rovers, so 10 points apiece in the second half. Referee there pulling Featherston Rovers offside, Peter Smith there. So it's Paul Loughlin now kicking for touch. That's a relieving kick for St. Helens, been capped in their own 25-yard area for long periods of time in the second half. So it's St. Helens getting this game restarted straight away, driving it in. So like I've said previous, all these points will count at the end of the match up to Feathers and Rovers to keep St. Helens from scoring again. Points difference and points four in that league table. So it's Neil Olin there doing the switch round there. Neil Olin there to Darren Blur. Darren Blur throw the gap. Darren Blur there. Lovely ball there to Paul Offlin, but Paul Offlin being beautiful tackle that by Danny Beach Chris Bibb also in the back, involved with the tackle so it's right in now to Chris Harcrack Chris Harcrack running across field but Peter Smith beautiful tackle straight round the boat laces so it's Shane Cooper now from acting half back to Neil Olin to Shane Cooper Shane Cooper did that's a good ball but to, what's happened here St. Helens all on so it's Phil Beavers with the ball referee wiping them tackles off saying that Paul Hughes touched that ball but it looked like a knock on to me, but the referee there is right. Oh, and McCormick then dropping that ball. <laughs> so the scrum's formed on that Feather Snowbus 25 yard line. It'll be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. Oh, the ball's in, it's out to Featherston over there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there, taking his opposite number on. Gets that ball up there to Glenn Both, but Glenn Both there being tackled in possession. So it's Derek Fox now. Derek Fox, that long ball out there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith coming down the middle. But being tackled, so it's Glenn Both acting out back now there to John Bastian. 
Trevor Clark from acting out back now there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox, that short ball there to Carl Allison. Back there to Derrick Fox. Derrick Fox there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks now to Chris Bibb. And this time Chris Bibb knocking that ball on. So it'll be a scrum down this time. It'll be Darren Blow to feed the scrum. Halfway between the halfway line and the Rovers 25 yard line. Well, Sean Cooper there to Paul Offlin. And the St. Helens man of the match with big boots on the crowd. This is the St. Helens man of the match goes to their number eight there, Tony Burke. Much to the amusement of the crowd. So it's Ryagerty there running it in. He's played well as Ryagerty this afternoon. He could have been a contention for the man of that. So it's Neil Olin switching direction now. Neil Olin back inside there to Tony Burke. Tony Burke there taking Paul Hughes on, but Paul Hughes wrestles him to the ground. Alan Banks there just making sure he will tackle. So Ryagerty going from acting half back, but once again, Alan Banks and Paul Hughes making the tackle. So it's St. Helens pressing on this Rovers try line. Rolls up to Rovers to keep him out. Neil holding that long ball out there to Chris Hartwright. Chris Hartwright bundled to the floor. That's good tackling by Peter Smith. Beautiful tackle by the Rovers loose forward that. So it's Neil holding that big up and under. The ball's in the air. Chris Bibb there going after that ball. Chris Bibb blows in that ball. St. Helens man offside. Referee says play on. He looked offside to me again. Well, that up and under there from Neil Olin, Chris Pip seemed to touch the ball, the St. Helens man touched it and all. Ricocheted off the St. Helens man to a man in front of him, the referee says, play on. Well, it looked offside to me, but the referee's in charge. Still, it's a drop out for Featherston Rovers underneath their own posts. So here we go, Derek Fox will kick, book this ball as far as he can downfield. So it's Dave Tanner here, no, he's left it to Les Quirk. Yeah, we're going to see a Les Quirk special. No, we're not. He's going to be tackled just short of that Featherson Rovers 25-yard line. Alan Banks here and Carl Addison making the tackle. So once again, Roy Haggerty running it in strong. Gets that ball out one arm again. He's had a good game as Roy Haggerty. So it's Neil Olin with the ball. Neil Olin there to Donoghue back inside there to Phil Beavers. Phil Beavers going strongly there to McCormick. This is better play by St. Helen, but cut tackling by Featherson Rovers. Five or six minutes left for playing this match yet. So it's Shane Cooper now, out of this side now to Phil Beavers, turning back inside. Phil Beavers there, pushing one man off, Phil Beavers still going, but... Two or three Featherson Rovers players there, making the tackle, so it's Neil Olin now, back there to Neil Olin from Darren Blair, Neil Olin there, oh, and Chris Arkwright knocks the ball on. So that's another scrum down. Scrum down, Derrick Fox to feed the scrum, ten yards from that Featherson Rovers try line. Well, it's Derek Fox there, getting that ball out there to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb there being tackled there. Trying to get that ball out, plays the ball back there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks, that long ball out there to Peter Smith, to Ian Smales there. Ian Smales there, taking Phil Beavers on. Ian Smales still going, he's had a good match as Ian Smales. Score of that cl classic try just after half-time, so it's Peter Smith there to Carl Harrison. Fumbling with the ball, just, just manages to grab hold of it about four to five minutes left for play now in this match so it's Trevor Clark from acting half back there just couldn't get through that second line of defence there number 15 there Chris Arkwright making the tackle so it's Derek Fox now there to John Bastian John Bastian there just couldn't get that ball out there to Glenn Booth so Derek Fox there switching direction deciding to kick the ball downfield Les Quirk there straight underneath the ball he's coming across field Les Quirk running in strong running it in but oh, Peter Smith straight round the boat laces. Carl Addison and all on top. Makes the tackle. Plays the ball now. Now, so it's Darren Blow doing the run around there, but got tackling there once again. Carl Addison below. Straight round the boat laces. They can't go out the leg. So it's Shane Cooper trying to set him over here. But beautiful tackle by Peter Smith there. Go backing up there by Paul Groves. But Paul Hughes following him all over that time, making the tackle. So it's Paul Gross fighting to get up now, gets that blown ball out there to Chris Arkwright there, to Roy Agassi there, back, back inside. This is good play this, Austin Gilroy there, but Austin Donegan, but good tackling by... 
And it's Roy Haggerty run it in strong. Thought it parted with that ball there, but he overrun the ball. <laughs> Roy Haggerty there, long ball out there. And let's quit there, knocking that ball on. He had a chance to go in for a try there. And that's the sixth and last tackle. So that'll be the changeover. Well, who would have thought this afternoon that Featherstone Rovers could have pulled a victory like this off at St Helens? I've been saying all the way, we just want another win to secure his place in that first division. Well, it looked like being here this afternoon at St Helens. Featherstone Rovers, after this match, will be on 20 points in that table. So there we are, Paul Hughes running it in. Paul Hughes just making strikes to his own 25 yard line, but being pushed back. Gets up, plays the ball. Trevor Clark now. Trevor Clark one way back inside there to Peter Smith. And Peter Smith there being tackled there, just over that his own 25-yard line. But St. Helens crowd's gone quiet, but they they can go quiet. Featherstone Rovers could gone away, gone away with the points here this afternoon. Good ball up there from Derry Fox to Nigel Barker. Brilliant play there by the Rovers number seven that time, slipping that ball there to Nigel Barker. Gets up, plays the ball, Derek Fox with the ball now there to Alan Banks. Beautiful play that by Alan Banks there to Chris Pip. Chris Pip going down the middle, Chris Pip there losing that ball, but being tackled without the ball. And David Tanner picking that ball up, it's all on. David Tanner there, had plenty of time to pick that ball up. So it's Ian Smells with the ball now there to number 12, John Bastian running it in. John Bastian still going. So that's the second tackle. Four more to go. Peter Smith now from acting up at there, number 11, Carl Addison. Carl Addison, good ball up there for Paul Hughes, but Paul Hughes there being tackled on his own 25-yard line. On the St Helens 25-yard line, I should say. So it's Trevor Clark now there to Carl Addison running it in. That's good running by Carl Addison. Just couldn't get that ball up there to Trevor Clark. Trevor Clark from acting up now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith there looking round for Ian Smells. Ian Smells going under the six, but without the ball. So I'm sure we're looking for a drop goal here. Derek Fox... Getting behind for this ball, but ball back there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there, but dropping that ball, but it's miles wide. And Les Quirk there just picking it up on his in goal area, so it's St. Helens 25. Darren Blow with the ball, Darren Blow taking this defence on, but Derek Fox, wise to that, makes the tackle. So it's Chris Hartwright running it out. Ooh, that was an heavy tackle, that Carl Addison there, straight round the. Is it Carl Addison? No, it's Trevor Clark, straight round the shoulder there. Beautiful tackle that by Trevor Clark. So it's Roy Haggerty there. That's Carl Addison this time making the tackle. St. Helens 10, Featherstone Rovers 31. <laughs> so it's Neil Olin doing the run around here. Neil Olin still going. Neil Olin looking for runners. Nobody wants them. Nobody wanting the ball. So it's Austin Donegan there. Throw the gap. That's a good run by Austin Donegan. Number 11 for St. Helens. 20 yards on that Featherstone Rovers try line. Neil Olin throwing this ball out wide now to Paul Groves. Is it Paul Groves? No, it's Darren Blow, but beautiful tackle by Peter Smith. That's the sixth and last tackle. Well, at least St. Helens this time kept hold of the ball for six tackles, but that would have marvellous tackle that by Peter Smith there. Oh, beautiful ball there to Diddy Fox. Diddy Fox taking Tanner on. Once again, that beautiful little bit there by Diddy Fox. So it's Paul Hughes going from acting out back. Paul Hughes still going, showing him the ball. Plays the ball back now. So it's Derek Fox with the ball. Derek Fox that long ball out there to Peter Smith. Peter Smith to me one way. Derek Peter Smith there, long ball out there to Ian Smells. Cut him back inside. Oh, just couldn't get that ball up there to Danny Beach and Alan Banks. But once again, Phil Beaver saving his try line yet again. So it's Derek Fox that long ball out there to Peter Smith. Turning back inside. Peter Smith there trying to pass the ball through us and telling his player. Trevor Clark there seemed to knock the ball on. Referee says play on. So it's Chris Bibb now from acting out back. Chris Bibb now to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there to Carl Allison. Carl Allison out there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks there to Ian Smells. Ian Smells putting back inside going for that try line. But Phil Beavers once again wrapping him up. So it's Alan Banks, Alan Banks now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Peter Smith, turning the ball back inside, dummy one way, dummy the other. But no way through this St. Helens defence, and there goes the final out today from St. Helens. Just look at them, Fellas Rovers players there. Absolutely fantastic feat here at Knowsley Road, St. Helens 10, Fellas Rovers 31. Tries to Paul Hughes, Ian Smales, Alan Banks, and two tries to John Bastian. Five goals to Derek Fox and one drop goal.
against a Paul Laughlin goal. Austin Donegan try and a Shane Cooper try and the full time score here from Knowsley Road against all the odds, Featherstone Rovers a battle again, the elements, St Helens 10, Featherstone Rovers 31.